All right, we're gonna bake a cake. I've got a birthday party coming up for my kid. So I'm gonna bake first. First we gotta clean, we gotta clean the kitchen, put some stuff away. The first rule of cleaning is, as for first rule of baking is to clean. There we go. And probably to, to take off my jacket, I just got home. You may have just joined me in my car as we sang and we danced as we drove home. It was very exciting and I knew none of the words, which is always interesting. I don't know about you, but I'm always mixing up the words to every single song and then maybe I know the chorus, but that's why I need lyrics with me and karaoke is makes me happy. All right, this is gonna be so exciting. We're baking together and you may or may not know me. Um, so this is my kitchen. My name's Mall of Amanda. I have a blog, mallofamanda.com. And I talk like this, is that fun? No, I'm gonna stop talking like that. I'm gonna take off my jacket. Ready? Let's find my apron. Here. Oh, well, I don't like these. I don't like these apron choices. Where'd my other apron go? Got this apron. I don't know, I can't even see. Isn't there supposed to be a chat component to this? You guys like this apron? It's kind of like old school. And, oh, oh, this is so cute. Look, we're gonna put on the cupcake, the cupcake apron. Ready? This is my cupcake apron. And you can still see my tank top underneath because it's not that kind of show and I don't want you guys to think I'm like doing like a nudie baking show because I'm not, I'm not that type of girl. I am a Jewish girl gone bad, but not that bad. Ready? So I got my apron on. We're gonna bake and see what else we have. All right, we're also, it's during the day, we're also gonna watch Oprah eat bonbons and drink some wine, cause we're domestic. I'm, I'm just, I'm kidding, I'm saving this for later, like an hour from now, cause that wouldn't be appropriate to drink right now. Right, am I right? All right, here we go. We're gonna bake a cake. The first rule of cake baking is, hold on. Where'd it go? Be prepared. Be prepared, that's the first rule, which I'm not evidently prepared to bake the cake. Where is, this is not very, can you even see me? Yeah, there I am. Here we've got frosting, I see sugar, I see, where'd it go? Oh my gosh, this is gonna lose my audience here. Where is it? Oh, well, I know I need this. I got oil, I got, um, we're gonna use an ice cream scooper. I know, like why, why does she have an ice cream scooper? You're gonna find out if you stick and watch this whole shenanigans with me. Um, a whisk. I burn a lot of calories whisking. There's a quarter of a calorie. There's maybe another quarter of a calorie. See? If you're wondering about how to lose calories, how to burn calories, where you don't have to exercise, I suggest you go to my blog, mallofamanda.com, not Mall of America, Mall of Amanda. And I have an awesome blog on um, different drinks that are equivalents to exercising. I don't know if you've all read that article about how red wine is the equivalent to an hour at the gym. That was exciting news for me. So, but there's a bunch of other drinks also that you can enjoy and I burn calories simultaneously. So for instance, like, um, Two shots of tequila is equivalent to a class of Zumba. A margarita is equivalent to also a class of Zumba, but in like a cold room. So you get the point, but I have a whole 
drink to exercise conversion sign, uh, chart on my blog. All right, so let's see. I'm gonna be really disappointed if I can't find, because I need to make, oh, you know what we're gonna do? Since I'm still looking for what I need to make my cake, I'm gonna preheat the oven. The worst part is, is when you're baking, I know that's so exciting, we're gonna preheat an oven, guys. Um, the worst part is when you're baking and you get to the end and you realize you didn't preheat the oven and you're supposed to. And it's also important to read all the directions before you get started because, you know, what if you need something and you don't have it? Then you're kind of screwed. And we luckily have neighbors that would lend me things like an egg or a cup of sugar or birth control because that's just the neighborhood we have. So I'm going to preheat the oven over here. Make sure there's nothing in your oven. The worst is preheating your oven and it gets all hot and then you open it up and realize you had something, you've been storing something in there that you probably shouldn't have been and is not going to do well in the oven. For instance, this is not, this is a friend, this was not me. I have a friend who has a company, it's a startup, and he makes um, dildos, there's just no other way to put it, he makes dildos, okay, and um, programmable dildos, I forget the name of the company, I would totally tell you what it is, but it's my friend Andy Quitmeyer, and uh, he had a bunch of the dildos hidden away in his oven, and his wife decided to preheat the oven, not knowing that he was storing dildos in the oven, because... Really, who, who stores dildos in the oven? I guess Andy does. But anyway, so she preheated the oven to open it up about 15 minutes later to find melted dildos all over her oven, which, you know, I don't know if there's a self-cleaning button for that. There could be because technology today, they think everything. There's an app for everything. Maybe there's a self-cleaning button for everything. I don't know. All right, here we go. Oh my gosh. Oh, let's see what else I have in my pantry. Oh, you know what this is? This is a hamantaschen. I've got one left. One, one hamantaschen. I'm not so sure I should eat it, though, because it's, it's been in um, my pantry for about three weeks now. I got it at Costco, because I don't make hamantaschen, because they're too high maintenance. And um, I don't do anything that's too high maintenance. Uh, all right, like Martha Stewart recipes, she's darling, but she often asks you to boil tomatoes for making pasta sauces. Like, you have to boil a tomato, then you have to peel the tomato, which I never really understood that peeling a tomato and how it changes the flavors of things. But you know what? I'm sure you're still like, aren't we supposed to be baking right now? Why is she going through her pantry? Um, I'm not gonna eat this. I have a lot of old things in my pantry, interestingly enough. I have some um, spices from 2007, and I'm not really sure if they uh, if they get old or not. Um, but let's not let's not tempt fate. So instead of eating them, I'm just gonna let's just keep them in the pantry because I have the storage space, you know. And you never know when you're gonna need expired spices. Always thinking. So we're gonna recycle this. I'm sorry you can't see me, but I've got a recycling bin right down here. It's the magical recycling bin. It's actually downstairs. I'm gonna go downstairs and recycle. See? Hi, right, gotta see you in a second. Oh, oh man, set up my arm. All right, coming back up the stairs. All right, yeah, thanks, thanks. All right. So, we're still baking. Are you still with me? We're still gonna bake. We're still baking. And maybe, maybe we'll put some gin in the cake, right? You wanna put some gin in it? For, it's a kid's birthday. Maybe that's not appropriate. I don't know, but it is a spend the night party and I do want the kids to go to sleep eventually. So, you know what? We'll just put Benadryl, kids Benadryl in the cake because that's, that makes more sense because it's made for kids and this is not. So I'll get some kids Benadryl. Let's see. Here we are. Nope. 
That's, that's, that's Motrin. We've got, oh, this is kind of kid size, the tequila. That's like a kid, that's kid size. Um, all right, there. Maybe we shouldn't put the Benadryl in the cake. We won't. It's not appropriate. No, all right. And nice apron. Thank you. <laughs> there is a chat feature. There it is. See, but then I have to do this to read your chats. Anyone else have anything to say? You better be nice. Um, let's see. Shit. Where's a... Uh, you know what? We're gonna... I have something better than a selfie stick. It's called a tripod. Um, who knew they made these things? Tripods. And the reason why, by the way, like I didn't like go out and buy a tripod for my phone. I just want everyone to know that, that my husband had one because he's a lawyer and he does depositions. So I just borrowed his tripod for my phone. Um, but I actually do have a selfie stick also. But if then I'd be like doing this and that would require physical exertion. And if you know me, you know I do not like to physically exert myself. In fact, I kind of bring laziness to a whole new level when I was pregnant with my twins. I opted for a C-section just so I wouldn't have to push. Um, if you haven't already, buy your tickets to my stand-up show this Friday night and Saturday night, Jerry Farber's Side Door. I don't have the link to where you purchase the tickets. I mean, I guess you can show up at the door. But we're going to sell out. Right? We're going to sell out hip versus swag too. You can also Google that. Don't you hate it when you like are on Facebook and you try to crowdsource something and people are like, why don't you Google that? You're like, yeah, I already tried Googling. Googling is not always the most helpful thing in the entire world. So maybe I'm on Facebook now asking my friends for help. And how do you think that makes me feel when you're like, go Google it. I have feelings too. Um, I can't believe I can't find my cake mix. Where did it go? There's chips. There's cannelli beans. There's mashed potatoes. There's Lucky Charms. We eat so healthy. Actually, um, I have a little tip for you. I have a kid who doesn't like to, um, drink milk, but he needs the calcium because he's growing and milk does a body good. So you know what we do? We do Lucky Charms for dessert. I know, did I just blow your mind? We don't give this for breakfast, we call it dessert cereal. I know, right? I've coined a whole new section of the supermarket. Of course, they'll probably be on the bottom aisle in right in plain kid view. Dessert cereal, that's what we do. And it fills them up a little. It's fortified with something. It's fortified, I'm sure, with something. Isn't it all fortified? It has whole grains, so that makes you feel good, shouldn't it? And, um, and no saturated fat. And only 10 grams of sugar. And it's for dessert. And he drinks milk when he eats Lucky Charms for dessert cereal. My little parenting tip to you. Um, we'll put that back up there. I'm still kind of disappointed in myself that I can't find, oh, oh, did you hear that beeping? You may have or not, but that means the oven has been preheated. And I know the oven is clean because my friend Andy did not put his dildos in my oven because I checked beforehand because I'm smart and I'm a thinker. Um, well, this is bad. Maybe you're making me a little nervous and anxious and it's like right there. Usually I get mad at my husband when I'm like, hey, can you go get um, the salt for me in the pantry? And he goes and he stands there for 50 minutes. Then he comes back without any salt. I'm like, where's the salt? And he's like, I didn't see it. We don't have any. And then I walk to the pantry and I'm like, salt there it was right there but now I'm doing like the same thing with the cake mix so please if you can it's like it's like where's Waldo everyone and I need your help finding the cake mix in my pantry do you see it because if you do please text me 
No, no one's, no one's engaging. No one's engaging. Russell, are you still, you still uh, listening? You the only one out there? It says all these people are watching. I have nine, nine people. Um, uh, where did it go? Okay, intermission. While I look for my cake mix. Oh, there it is. It was behind the seaweed. Ready? Oh, delicious. Okay, this is my big secret to baking a cake. You get a, oh, are we back?